Hey guys, Professor Mike here, and today we're diving deep into the world of natural hair care. We're talking soft, shiny, and smooth hair. So if you're tired of managing frizzy locks and seeking science-backed but holistic natural keratin treatment, well, you're in the right place. As you know, commercial salon treatments include a lot of chemicals. Even though it's instantly gratifying, it often incorporates those nasty chemicals that can be detrimental over time, not only to your health, but also could lead to cancer. So let's embark on an exploration of herbal remedies. We're talking natural, that's good for your body, also scientifically proven that promotes not just shine, but healthy hair from the inside and out. All right, so let's dive into the specific ingredients and why they're so good for your health. So the first one is called Ladyfinger. The natural name is okra. Now I know it has a weird name, but this is what's known as phytokeratins. You see, okra is breaming with these phytokeratins. Several studies suggest that these natural plant-based derivative proteins can actually replicate benefits of artificial treatments. It promotes silky smooth hair texture. So inside the ingredients, it's packed with vitamins. So vitamin A, as you know, is a critical player for hair vitality as well as body vitality. So if a person has deficiency in vitamin A, they are likely to have hair thinning as well. So incorporating direct sources of vitamin A ensures a fortified scalp and hair vibrancy. The next one is antioxidants, which is found in anything natural, really. As you know, antioxidants reduces the rate of oxidation or basically damage to the body. So antioxidants in okra serves as a protective barrier, counteracting potential damage from environmental stressors. A real big oxidizer is probably those chemicals that are used in the salon. All right, so moving on to number two here, rice flour or even cornstarch. I'm not a huge fan of cornstarch or really anything made out of corn, so stick with rice flour. So rice flour is an ancient remedy. Rice is an abundance of amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein which invigorates hair follicles and strengthens them. Meanwhile, cornstarch is adept at absorbing excess oils and ideal for those with oily scalps. But again, I personally don't like cornstarch. Next is the oils. We're talking coconut, jojoba, almond, as well as olives. Try your best to stay away from seed oils, but flaxseed is okay. So the first one here is coconut oil. As you guys know, Everyone loves coconut oil, right? So according to the Journal of Cosmetic Science, coconut can actually dramatically stop protein loss in the hair, thereby making an exemplary conditioner. Fancy words for a great conditioner that doesn't dry out your scalp. Next is jojoba oil. I know it has a funny name, but it's renowned for its close resemblance to our body's natural hair oils. It ensures that the scalp maintains its essential oils. Okay, the next one is almond oil and even olive oils here. So almond and olive are some of my favorite, right after coconut. These little guys are rich in antioxidants, basically protectants, and very rich in vitamin E. These oils counteract hair damage and promote growth. Okay, now what do we do with all these ingredients to make our hair soft, shiny, and silky smooth? Well, this next part, we're gonna dive into the formulation and implementation of how to apply this concoction to your hair. All right, so it all starts with step number one. Begin with five okras. So after washing them, dice them and boil them in water for approximately 10 minutes. That's correct, boil them for 10 minutes after dicing them up. Okay, step number two is after boiling. We wanna blend and strain using a muslin cloth to achieve a gelatinous consistency. So again, blend and strain using a muslin cloth to get that jelly-like consistency. This is your source for natural keratin, so it's very important. Okay, number three, concurrently, blend one of the tablespoons of rice flour with water. And then step number four, warm the okra gel here and integrating the rice flour mix while continuously stirring. So we're basically stirring it together and adding the flour mix. Now step number five, strain for a fine texture. The next step is step number six. Now this all depends on your hair health. We wanna integrate your chosen oil. So for drier textures, if your hair is very crumply and crackly and frizzy and dry, you wanna implement two tablespoons and they recommend that that's optimal. 
while more oily hair could benefit from just having a small teaspoon. So it really just depends on you. Now, step number seven, segment your hair and apply the concoction meticulously. You wanna make sure to rub it all the way in. Now, you also wanna seal with a shower cap for two hours this time two full hours, that's 120 minutes. Okay, now after the two hour head cap is step number eight here. Rinse with cool water, not hot, not warm. Cool water is the key. Allow your hair to dry naturally with the air. No blow dryers, no towels, just naturally air dry. Remember that hot air treatments like a blow dryer after the application is going to negate some of the benefits. All right, so for some key takeaways here. Now, this is not a singular standalone miracle cure. The effectiveness of this natural solution is observed with regularity. For optimal outcomes, you have to apply this weekly. Okay, takeaway number two is the external application of this ointment is only one facet of hair health. You wanna make sure your diet is good and rich in biotin, and your psychological well-being and hormone balance and consistent vitamin intake is all regulated. Because as you know, stress can make your hair fall out and even hormone imbalances can do the same thing. Now I always encourage everyone, including my clients, to integrate this regimen and share their transformative journey. So simply take before and after pictures or post to social media with a video of your journey and progress. Typical results come after a few months of application weekly. But as you know, beauty is multifaceted and holistic. It hinges on internal health and even mental tranquility, as mentioned before, and scientifically backed solutions we choose to apply. So thank you for joining me on this explorative transformation for your hair, for soft, shiny, smooth skin. If you choose to do this, always make sure before and after pictures and just tag me on social media. I'd love to see your results. All right, guys, that's it. And thank you so much for subscribing and turning on your bell notification.